Welcome to this 510K tutorial, in which we will demonstrate the features of Automaton Live 10. Automaton Live 10 is an analog-inspired 16-step sequencer, designed by Alex Kidd for Ableton Max 4 Live, based on the same polyrhythm architecture as all our sequencers, but designed to trigger different values to assign parameters within any channel and plug-in mappable in Ableton Live, either by writing the sequence through its dedicated controls, or by using the individual randomization possibilities. This sequencer has a gate line and three separate parameter lines. Each of these lines has an independent length and play mode. Each length can vary from 1 to 16 steps long. The play mode can be forward, backward, bidirectional, or random. Using the buttons to the right, each of these lines can be randomized or reset to the value located further right of the button, with global reset and randomization being triggered via these buttons. The gate line is where the rhythm pattern gets written, and each step increment is defined by the clock division setting adjustable here. By default, the speed is set to 16th notes. You can also adjust the swing here. Sec A, B and C lines control the desired target which can be mapped here. And if the result is too extreme due to the program values, you can control the intensity of each parameter lines by altering the min and max values to the right of the line. You will note the name of the selected target here, and pressing reset will remove the mapping. Each row can be switched between step or gate mode. In step mode, each step will increase at the speed defined by the clock, but in gate mode, each trigger from the gate sequence increases the other sequences by one increment. At the top right of the plugin, you can switch the plugin off and on in real time. When off, the button blinks and the sequencer is still running, but doesn't output any parameter change. By reducing the lengths of each line, it becomes very easy to create evolving polyrhythms and add movement to static loops, all in one page and easily accessible. Last but not least, in this update all parameters are mapped to Ableton's Push 2.